If you're a music producer, you've probably spent hours searching for the perfect MIDI chord pack to get your track started. Well, guess what? Those days are over. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Ableton Live 12's MIDI tools and some new amazing Max for Live patches to generate an infinite amount of chord progressions right within live. So no more endless downloads or scrolling through countless MIDI chord packs. Make sure you're on the Generative Tools tab here. Go down and select Stacks. Now I'm gonna go in here, which is the main chord selector pad, and this is where I can change the quality of the chord. I can do it by simply pressing up and down to cycle through the different qualities. You can also use the shortcut, which is holding down Command or Control on Windows and pressing up and down. If you're unsure of what the chord quality is, if you hover your mouse in the chord selector pad area here, then if you look down in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see it says four chord, C, E, G, D, that's the notes of the chord. Then we've got C add nine, which is the chord quality, and then what scale degrees it's using. We can also change the inversion. So at present, it's in the root position. If I put this up one, it's going to put it into first inversion, and then we can go to the second and third inversion. And duration is how long the chord's gonna last for, and offset is just where you would like it to start. Now to create a new chord, you press this plus dial up here, and it generates exactly the same chord. So now this is where I can change the root. So now if I just press up and down, on my keypad, that will change the root. To edit the different chords, you need to make sure you select which chord you would like to edit. You can do this by clicking in the chord selector pad area here. So if you go back here, you can edit chord one. This is chord two. If I hold down command and shift up, I can change the different qualities. So here I have G6 sus4. Let's add a few more. So let's go, let's just add four. Okay, so this one I'm gonna select. I'm gonna change the root note by going down. This one I'm gonna change by going up like that. Uh, and let's have a little listen to that. Okay, so that's the first way where we can generate chords right within Ableton Live. Now, one of the amazing features with Ableton Live 12 and these MIDI tools is that anybody can generate their own MIDI tools with Max for Live. And there's two devices that are already pretty impressive. Let's have a little look. So M2 Progressions is a MIDI tool generator that allows you to easily create complex chord progressions literally with just a few clicks. It has over 170 different chord progressions within it. You can go here and choose your different category. It has three categories. It has major, minor, or misc. Let's choose minor. I can go from this list and choose all the possibilities of all the different diatonic chord progressions within a minor key, which is amazing. So if we just choose this one straight off the bat, we'll make the clip length four bars. And let's hear this. So we can change the root here. So we can change the key essentially. We just click and scroll up. It also shows us the chords in writing as well. So we can see what chords we're playing and then we can select the octave we can also reverse the order of the chord. We can rotate some of the chords around. If you're worried about using one of these chord progressions and copying someone else, you've already got a new chord progression right there. Also, I should say, if you're stuck on which one to use, you can press this R button here and it will randomly select one of the chord progressions from the list for you. Now we can also choose the complexity. So you can add in five notes, four notes, or just go to the basic triad. Now this is one of the unique features with this MIDI tool, which sets it apart from previous stacks and even other MIDI chord generators like the chord MIDI effect in Ableton Live. It has the ability to automatically work out the correct inversions, just like a keyboard player would. Now, if you see here, these are all quite blocky. So if we do this, if we go auto like that, it's changed the order of the notes. It hasn't added any notes in, it's just moved them around a little bit. And then we can choose the inversions by clicking up and down. So we can go first inversion. Very nice. We can also choose the voicing. So this is closed voicing. If we put open, that splits the notes across the octaves. Then we've got the bass note here. Now, one thing to mention with the bass note is it's not gonna add in the root of the chord. It's gonna add in a duplicate of the lowest note in the chord. So if you've got an inversion, which this one here is an inversion and the note is F, but we're in the key of C, it's going to create a bass note F. Just careful of that because usually the bass note, we want it to be the root. So what we can do here is put this back to the root position. We go base minus two. Nice. 
you can also change the duration of different chords. So here it's four. If I go in here and I scroll up, create different rhythms. Now I can also randomize this, which is pretty cool. I have some preset patterns as well for the rhythm. So if I just press R, So many possibilities with that one. That's really cool. The next one is by the same developer. It is called M2TM Chords. Now, this generates chords by you actually typing in the chords. So if I say F sharp minor, D major, A, and E. And because I've had it on auto, it's automatically generated it in the background. Now I need to set the length to four bars as before. And now if I press play on this clip, I have my chord progression. Now we have similar controls to the previous one. We have the octave. Do we want the root note in the chord? Bass, go minus one again. Duration, velocity. Now we can change the key of it by pressing up and down so we can shift through the keys. Then we have the inversions so we can go up through the different inversions of the chord. And then we have this amazing feature that was also in the previous MIDI tool and was its ability to do these automatic inversions and make it sound like a real keyboard player. Let's change up a few sounds, bring in a beat and see what we've generated. If you'd like to learn more of the new features in Ableton Live 12, I have a playlist here with some helpful videos. Also, if you'd like to learn everything about Ableton Live 12, why not check out my course in the description?